I showed you guys the blue one not that long ago. I had the opportunity to grab the green dial variant from Jake at Trifecta when I was down there visiting in Lafayette, Indiana. Cool little town. Definitely worth checking out. If you are within driving distance, go down and actually visit the brick and mortar. It's pretty cool. Fun little town. Um, very affordable too. Just like Trifecta uh, sells affordable watches or the, at least they have um, affordability of their brands and their watches. That whole town does. So pretty cool. Um, picked up the green dial variant of this guy. Let's cover it real quick. This is the Bulova Super Seville 96B439er. Here's the hang tag with the info. Again, direct link in the description. Retail price $6.95. Check the description down below. Trust me, it'll be worth your time. Let's get into this very obviously. You can tell by looking at it, and I mentioned it in the blue dial video. It's a very 1970s uh, retro vibe going on here that they just kind of redid and, and brought it to current specs with the precisionist movement and sapphire crystal and all that good stuff. Case size, I measure at 37.75. On the website, it says 37 and a half. I measure 37. 0.75. The lug to lug, this time I grabbed from the fixed link in the center, 47.7. Thickness, only 10.8. Nice thin profile. The width here on this fixed bracelet is 25 millimeter and it tapers down nicely to 18. You have a butterfly clasp with double pushers for the deployant. And you have a six millimeter push pull crown keeping 30 meter water resist. And it is signed with the tuning fork from the brand. Speaking of tuning fork, this movement is very special. It's an NM50. It's a high precision quartz precisionist movement that has three forks to the tuning fork and it, it sweeps. So you can see the seconds hand kind of sweeps, which is not traditional for a quartz movement. But in this one here, it's very hard to see to the naked eye, but it is ticking. If I were to do like a slow-mo video, you would see it. But it ticks at 16 beats per second and keeps an accuracy level of plus minus 5 seconds per month. Per month, whereas most automatics, you know, 5 seconds per day is considered totally fine. This one does it per month and oftentimes performs even better than that. And you have a legit date magnifier there. That's at least two and a half times. So you can clearly read that date with those aging eyes. You can see they're nicely framed, Frenched in. And then boom, you can read it no problem. You do have loom on the hands. It's very thin. And then you have loom on those markers. And then a tuning fork up at the 12 o'clock position right there on the dial. Very clean. You can see the Precisionist logo there. And it runs... 262 kilohertz very cool if you are an automatic guy you want to try a quartz but you can't deal with that tick 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 and you want that nice sweep but you don't want to go with say like a grand seiko uh hybrid type movement that they do with their spring drive um get one of these the only thing the only downside to this honestly the only downside to the Bulova precisionist movement is battery life the battery expected to probably run about one year maybe a little bit longer but not much so you will be doing battery changes uh, but i think to get that sweep it's really cool but you know again this would upset the accuracy argument but if you wanted to you, all you have to do is hack the movement stop that seconds hand and it should preserve some of that battery life and then just set it when you're ready to wear it and push it back in and get it running again um, it should prolong that battery life, I think. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. Let's pop it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist so you can see what that looks like. And hopefully I'll bring in more uh, bulbas with this movement because although this one's good, here, another thing I need to point out too, real quick, if I can find my pointer. I don't, I don't need it, but I want to use it. So um, you can see this is only a 37. This is under 38 millimeter. And you guys know... You hand me a 38 millimeter diver and I'm like, nah, doesn't work. Um, so this is a pretty 
smaller dimensioned watch, but because it's square and it has a proprietary lug design, I wouldn't want this particular watch in a larger size for my wrist. This is the perfect size for this watch, in my opinion, based on facts. I, maybe I'm doing that backwards. It doesn't even matter at this point. It's all nonsense, really. Um, I just try to show you guys the watch, and you determine if you like it well enough to purchase on your own. But check out, nice fluting on that bezel, and then that crystal sits proud of that. Kind of rounded off, almost like how a, a plexi would be. And then just flat, clear sapphire crystal. So whether you go with the blue one or the green one, um, I'm going to be a little bit more biased towards the green dial one, if I'm completely honest. And there is some other colorways of this one. I'll get those in too. But I think the green one speaks to me. I, I just typically don't gravitate towards blue dial watches. But whatever. I know a lot of people love the blue dial watches. Let's turn off the lights. Check out the loom on this thing. The Loom performs well. Keep in mind, Bolivo is actually owned by Citizen Group, and Citizen also has some really good Loom. Matter of fact, I have a Citizen Dive Watch sitting right here. So, yeah, you know, they're pulling from the same bins here, so they can also use good Loom. So, thanks for watching, and again, big thanks to Jake at Trifecta. Tell him I sent you. Link down below whether you just purchase online through his website or call him up. He'll talk to you and ship the watch out pretty dang quick. See you on the next vid.